Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome back. As you guys know already, I've already upgraded the headlights on my Mercedes C250 from Halogen Headlights to the first generation Depot Projection Headlights and they've been amazing. In today's video, I'm gonna be upgrading the Halogen Headlights in my wife's 2013 Mercedes C300 to the brand new Unique Style Racing Projection Headlights. So if you're not familiar with Unique Style Racing or USR for short, they're a supplier for automotive lighting. So anywhere from bulbs, uh, side markers, and custom headlights. They actually started carrying a brand new headlight for the Mercedes W204 facelift model that looks similar to the previous Depot headlight, but actually has a little cool feature that I think you guys might like. So these headlights should be pretty easy to install. They're plug and play. And if you're interested in buying it, feel free to use the link in the description below and use the code FLEX to get a discount off your purchase. Not to keep you waiting, let's get to the install. So these are the headlights from USR. As you can see, it still has the plastic wrap from the shipment process to protect the lens. They're actually really, really nice. Each of these were packed in their own box and two of these boxes were inside this massive box. So you don't have to worry about these lenses being damaged during shipping. Let's take a look at it real quick. The construction, the quality. Man, this looks really good. You still got that projector lens. You get that side light. You get the cool C LED. And you also get that LED turn signal. And on the back, you get one two adjustment knobs so that way you can aim your low beam left and right, up and down. Um, that's access to the side bulb and that's access to your low beam, high beam bulb. And these are plug and play so if you look right here, that is the same connection for your current OEM halogen headlight. There's also this brown wire here and this one also has a brown wire and a red wire. I'll show you how to wire that up, but that will give you that cool, unique feature on these headlights. So the first step in installing the new headlights is first, we need to remove the front bumper. If you guys want a step-by-step -step tutorial, USR offers a great video on YouTube that I'll link in the description below. So I just finished mounting one of the headlights. But before I put everything back together, I want to give you guys a quick tip. So when you mount the headlights, mount the bumper, everything's good to go and your headlight is out of alignment, like the gaps above the headlight or below or to the side is too thick or too thin, what you need to do is beneath here, there's a bolt. Right there is a bolt. And right behind here, is another bolt. Those are the three bolts holding the headlight in place. You have to basically loosen those and adjust the headlight until they are perfectly gapped and then you want to tighten all three. So here's the finished product. Let's see what my wife thinks about it. I think it looks really cool. I think that it really updates the look of my car and I really like these LED lights a lot. Yeah, those lights are pretty cool. So let me walk you through all the features and benefits of the brand new headlights. So here are the cool features of the headlight. When you turn on your parking lights, the cool C LEDs turn on. When you turn on your headlights, you have your low beam coming through the projector lens, which will allow you to have a clean cutoff line to prevent any glare to oncoming traffic. And the cool C LED also turns on. When you turn on your high beams, most people don't know this, but behind that projector lens is actually a shutter. So when you turn on your high beams, it opens up and you get your high beam through the same lens using the same 9005 bulb. The bulb that's actually behind the CLED is just a bulb to turn on to increase the spread of the light. But your main high beam is actually coming through the same low beam bulb. And then when you turn on your signal, you also get that nice amber LED signal strip. So here's the unique thing about the USR headlights. They actually come with daytime running lights and they are super bright and they look awesome. So here's how I wired them. So to get those daytime running lights, remember that brown wire I showed you? 
Well, the driver's side had a brown wire and a red wire. I routed the brown wire all the way to the passenger side and connected to the other end that is also a brown wire. The red wire I routed up here to the fuse box. So to keep everything kind of waterproof, there's a rubber grommet here that I poked a hole in and ran the red wire through and I connected it to this fuse tap that's included in the kit. So to do the fuse tap, this second slot right here is a 10 amp fuse. You take that out and you install it in the available space of the fuse tap, just like this. And then this whole thing plugs into that open fuse spot that you took out, like that. Just make sure the wire is on the inside, not on the outside. Once you do that, now your daytime running lights will turn on when your vehicle is on. So when you start your car, the daytime running lights will come on. They'll also come on at night when you have your low beam on. So when you go to use your signal, the daytime running lights will switch over to the amber turn signal. And as soon as you shut off your signal, it'll switch back to the daytime running lights, which I think is really cool. And you see that in a lot of high-end cars nowadays. Now here are some nice shots of the car with the brand new headlights. Well, there you have it, a huge upgrade to my wife's C300. I think it looks amazing, especially with those new DRLs. Really, really unique. And again, if you're interested in buying this, use the link to the USR website and use the code FLEX to get a discount. I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, hit like below. As always, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.